Welcome back. It's now time for the business day. Fuel prices will see a third week of declines effective tomorrow. A litre of 87 gasoline will sell for $2.40 less, while 90 gasoline will go down by $2.90. The declines will take both categories to their lowest since late March. Now, diesel and ultra-low sulfur diesel will decline by $4.50 per litre, reaching their lowest ex-refinery rate since early February 2022. Kerosene will also see, or rather sell, for $4.50 less. Propane will be $2.90 cheaper, while butane will drop by $4.50. Caribbean Broilers Group has invested billions in a new plant and processing line which should also make the company's operations more sustainable. More in this report from Aisha Nation. Caribbean Broilers Group has made a multi-million dollar investment to upgrade its operations and improve sustainability. The company says it has spent $15 billion for its new plant, dubbed The Nest. Speaking with our news center recently, corporate marketing manager at CB Joel Fontaine says the company closed its old plant and moved into the new facility in January. It's really a community of businesses. We have multiple operations located on one property. It's about a thousand acres in Hill Run, St. Catherine. And what happens is that all the businesses, it shares resources. So it's really a more sustainable design to do business in a way that helps to lessen our pull on the environment. The new facility is expected to boost output by about 30% at optimal production. CB says that the integrated facility will also help the company reduce waste and make their process greener. We have a water treatment plant as well right beside. So whatever water is actually used at the plant, at the production plant, will be transferred over, cleaned and recycled. And so it's almost a zero waste system we have. So whatever recycled water we have, we'll go and actually irrigate our crops. Meanwhile, as part of the new facility, CB has upgraded its poultry production line, introducing air-chilled chicken to the market a few days ago. We've done away with using all of that water, right? So what happens is that there is less risk for cross-contamination between the carcass. So it becomes a healthier, safer carcass. And number two is that the water weight. With the old technology, the carcass is used to absorb a lot of water. Right? With air chill, there is absolutely none of that. So it's 100% meat, right? And then number three is that because we've done away with all of that water, we are actually much more sustainable. Air chilling is the process in which cold air is used to lower the temperature of poultry to meet the food safety code temperature guidelines. A water chilling process, which is the most popular procedure in the local and regional market, was previously used. CB says the implementation of the new technology has not caused an increase in the cost of its products. Caribbean Broilers is one of the first in the Caribbean and Latin American market to adapt the air chilling technique, bringing the company to a standard already popular in the United States, Canada, and in Europe. CB is the only local operator to so far implement the process. For the Business Day, I'm Aisha Nation. Thanks, Aisha. We go to the foreign currency market now. The U.S. dollar is being sold for an average $154.23. $113.32 is the going rate for the Canadian dollar. The average cost for the pound is $192.77, while it's costing an average $170.78 for the euro. The JSE index gained 2,313 points today, while the junior market index lost 17 points. Among the winners were Sterling Investments US dollar shares, MPC Caribbean Clean Energy, Caribbean Flavors and Fragrances, Stanley Motor, and Consolidated Bakeries. On the losing side were Medical Disposables and Supplies, JMMB Group 7.5% shares, Jamaica Public Service 7% shares, and Everything Fresh. And that's the business day. News from overseas is next.